do you think we can talk like two adults for a moment? Or maybe I should say two old women. <laughs> What's to talk? Oh, I think there's a lot of things that needs to be said. Things that I can tell you that you wouldn't know or didn't know. I don't care anymore. Like what? Like I truly didn't want to continue with Stan when I found out he was married. Then why the hell did you? Well, he chased me. Not that I blame him. And he told me he was getting a divorce. Oh, and you believed him. Well, I had my doubts, so I returned to Edward. Who's Edward? My ex. What do you mean, your ex? My ex-husband. <laughs> Are you saying you had an affair with my Stan while you were still married to Edmund? Oh, Edward. Oh, no, not at all. We'd already been separated for a week. A week? A whole long week from Stan and you get it from a whole long week from Edwin and you get involved with my Stan. Edward. Yes, well, it was like this. As you know, I was an actress and I was uh, doing Shakespeare at the Old Globe and Stan came to see me. Oh, my Stan went to see Shakespeare? Mm -hmm. What did you bribe him with? Oh, I didn't. He was seeing an ex-friend of mine, Myrtle. Who's he Myrtle? came with her. Well, take a guess, Millie. Uh, take a good guess. You don't mean... Yes, I, indeed I do. He was with her for several months and that's how we met. So you, he took... You took him for Myrtle? Oh, yes. But even before me, there was Virginia. Oh. Now there was one ugly bitch. However, she did have tremendous breasts. Oh, I can't believe this story. Which one, dear? His leaving Myrtle for me or Virginia's big tits? Oh, you are so crass. If it means anything to you, he loved my small breasts. Besides, I think you're lying. Far from it. And somewhere in your naive little heart, I think you know it. And what made you so special that he stayed with you? Because what he would do, I would do, if you get my meaning. You're telling me that you were promiscuous while you were Stan? Oh, absolutely. If oh. he screwed someone, I could screw someone. I feel <laughs> nauseous. I would call myself quite modern. I call you a hussy. Oh, honey, I was a slut. <laughs> and you say it with pride? Are you insane? What's wrong with being kinky at the right time? But you wouldn't know about that, would you, Mother Teresa? <laughs> yes, Stan was charismatic like me, except he was a liar. And you weren't? Oh, no, no, I wasn't a liar. A slut, perhaps, but I never lied about it. And it didn't bother you that Stan was unfaithful? Oh, of course it bothered me. I am human, you know. How, how is it, Millie, that you never had any idea that he played around? Only once did I have suspicions about someone, and it turned out to be you. You ruined my life! Millie, I'm sorry to tell you this, but if it weren't me, it would have been Mary. You're not or sorry at all. If I found a man was married while he was trying to court me, no matter how he protest, professed his love, I would never see him again. You seduced him. No, Millie. I tried to convince him to make his marriage to you work. I do have principles. Oh, what a saint you are. And how were you trying to convince him on your orthopedic mattress? Oh, come on. Your marriage hadn't been sexual in years. He told you that? Oh, yes. He, he accused you of being uh, frigid. What? We had a perfectly healthy sex life. Not that it's any of your business. Frigid. Because I didn't like mirrors over my bed? Because I happened to look awful in leather? And what were you? A trapeze artist in bed? Yes, yes, and I'm not ashamed of it. You should have learned, Millie, that the way to a man's heart is through his zipper. I was experimental. Oh, you're nothing but a tramp. This, this discussion is over. The idea of my spending my final years on this earth with you disgusts me. I'd rather live in a cave. Now listen, I didn't ask for this either, but here we are, and it would be a good idea if we started making the best oh, of it. Oh, you and I are not a we. A thief is a thief, and that's what you are. You stole my husband, and you murdered my marriage. Well, aren't you the drama queen? No. Here I thought you might want to get all those, put all those years behind you and move on. We're not young anymore, but you're behaving like a stubborn ass. And what do you call yourself for spreading your legs for my husband and God knows how many others? A lot smarter than you, Millie, because you didn't. Oh!